Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss about LAN switches. Also, we will see how these switches forward frames. Okay, before coming to this concept, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, coming back to our concept. First of all, we will see switch fundamentals. The switch usually makes its forwarding decisions based only on the layer 2 Ethernet MAC addresses consulting MAC address table. When a switch receives the frame, it will examine the source MAC address and build the MAC address table. The MAC and port number will be added to addressing table if the received source MAC address does not exist in the addressing table. Switch dynamically builds the MAC address and it keeps an entry in the table for 5 minutes. Now we will see how a switch forward the frame. Switch will match the destination MAC address with its addressing table and if the destination MAC address is present in the table, switch will forward the frame out of the specified port. If the destination MAC address is not present, the switch will forward the frame out of all ports except the incoming port. This is known as unknown unicast. Now we will see uh, unknown unicast and frame forwarding uh, in switch using our Cisco packet tracer. Okay, right. So here we will design a simple topology. Uh, we will have a 2960 series switch, the number of PCs. We will rename this uh, as S1. Okay. Then some into devices. Okay, this PC0 will delete it. PC1, PC2, PC3 and PC4. Now we will connect these devices to this uh, switch S1 using a copper straight through. PC1 we will connect to FA0 slash 1. PC2 we will connect to FA0 slash 2. PC3 will connect to FA0 slash 3. PC4 we will connect to FA0 slash 4. Now we will assign IP address for these PCs. PC1 desktop IP configuration. Any one address, okay, we will use C class 192.168.1.1. Submit to mask. Coming to PC2, desktop IP configuration, we will give 1.2. Submit to mask. Coming to PC3, it's 1.3. Coming to PC4, 1.4. Here we are not going to do any basic configurations on this uh, switch S1. Here we will observe this uh, switch uh, MAC address table. Also we will see how this uh, switch uh, forward the frames uh, to other devices. Okay, now we will go to this switch S1. Coming to CLI. Enable. Here we are going to give the command show MAC address table and here we can see the entries VLAN 1 and here we can see uh, the MAC addresses we will verify all these MAC addresses and here we can see it's connected to these ports FS 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2, 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 so these all MAC addresses obviously uh, the address of the physical address of uh, these PCs uh, we will verify that Okay, here we will uh, note all the MAC address of these PCs. First of all, we will go to PC1, desktop, command prompt. Here we can give the command IP config forward slash all. And here we can see the MAC address. Physical address, we will copy this address. And we will note here. 
that we will uh, take this knot yes it's here same way we will go to PC2 desktop command prompt IP config all and here we can see the MAC address it's here coming to PC3 IP config forward slash all physical address and uh, finally coming to PC4 we'll copy the MAC address of PC4 now we will come back to our S1 and uh, here we can see our addressing table MAC address table and here we can see the entries first of all we can see our PC1 is connected to FA0 slash 1 here we can see the port FA0 slash 1 and here we can see the MAC address will match with our PC1 MAC address 00 a f377 we will keep here and we will verify it yes both are same even we can verify all the PCs here we can see PC2 connected to FA0 slash 2 here we can see that port FA0 slash 2 and here we can see the MAC address the MAC address of uh, PC2 it's correct it's matching and PC3 uh, connected to FA0 slash 3 here we can see that and here we can see the MAC address it's matching and coming to PC4 which is connected to FS0 slash 4 and here we can see the MAC address it's matching now switch will forward the frames uh, using this MAC address uh, table to its destination now we will go to simulation mode okay here we will give show all or none edit filters here we will give only ICMP here we can see even list filters visible events only ICMP okay then we will close this simulation panel now we are going to send a message from PC1 uh, to any one of this PC okay we will send to PC3 coming to PC1 desktop command prompt here we will ping to 192.168.1.3 now here we can see an envelope on this uh, PC1 it's an ICMP packet now we are going to click capture or forward it's ICMP uh, we can open this uh, uh, PDU and here we can see PDU informations here in this out layer, so we can see layer 2 and layer 1 in layer 2 we can see a third 2 header and here we can see source and destination uh, MAC address uh, this is the uh, MAC address of our PC1 and uh, here we can see the MAC address of uh, PC3 right so now we will uh, click again capture or forward and we can see this uh, frame goes to S1 now how this uh, switch uh, forward this uh, frame uh, correct to this PC3 if you open this PDU here we can see the destination MAC address it's a 0002.16dd.8c08 so now what we will do we will uh, come to the MAC address table on this S1 we will click on this switch and we will verify that MAC address destination MAC address right now here we can see our MAC address table also we can see this uh, PDU information here here we can see the destination MAC address it's a 0, 0, 0.0216 double D okay and here we can see that MAC address 
and here we can see the port fa0 slash 3 so uh, what this uh, switch does uh, he sends this uh, frame to this port that is fa0 slash 3 and here we can see in this topology uh, this fa0 slash 3 is uh, connected to our uh, uh, destination pc3 now we will see that again we will uh, click capture or forward and we can see it goes to pc3 now this pc3 will uh, send back the acknowledgement to this uh, pc1 so we can see that again we will click on this capture or forward it goes to s1 and s1 will process and it will forward to this port fa0 slash 1 using its MAC address table here we can see the destination MAC address it's a 000a f3776 b 9b this is the MAC address of our pc1 now s1 will forward to pc1 We'll again click on capture or forward and here we can see it goes to PC1. Now we will see unknown unicast. So for that what we will do, we will clear the MAC address table. Coming to S1, here we will give clear MAC address table. Now we will give the show command show MAC address table. And here we can see our MAC address table is empty. Now we will try to send a message from PC1 uh, to any one of this PC. Coming to PC1, desktop, command prompt, we will send to PC3 using our previous command. Okay. And here we can see uh, our uh, uh, PDU, ICMP packet. Now we will click on capture or forward and we can see it goes to S1. Here in this PDU we have the information uh, source and destination MAC address. So here we can see that in layer 2. But we can see uh, this uh, switch MAC address table is empty. Then how this switch S1 will forward this frame? Obviously it will broadcast. We can see that. It will broadcast to all the ports except uh, to this PC1, ingress port. And here this uh, unicast frame is unknown to this switch S1. That's why we call this as uh, unknown unicast. And one more thing here, we cannot see any uh, broadcast information. Here we can see only source and destination MAC address. It's a unicast communication. Okay, right. So we will uh, forward and we will see what happens. We'll click on forward, and here we can see it goes to all the PCs, PC2, PC3, and PC4, uh, except PC1, who sent this frame. And here we can see PC2 and PC4 is dropped this frame. Only PC3 is accepted this frame. Obviously, it's because uh, this PC3 MAC address and this uh, PDU destination MAC address matches. So, PC3 accepted. Now, we can see it goes back to this PC1 uh, through S1. From PC3, it goes to S1. Now, it will forward to PC1. Okay, right. So, friends, in this video, we have seen uh, LAN switches also we have seen uh, how a switch forward the frame also we have seen uh, the working of unknown unicast dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions or regarding these uh, topics please comment below and if you like our video don't forget to give a thumb and share to all your friends subscribe stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you